if you want green seasoning that you can use to marinate your meat seafood or just put it in your stews or vegetables please watch until the end my name is therese and welcome or welcome back to my channel and i'm doing a green seasoning for all your needs the first thing i'm gonna do is ginger this is how the ginger looks like after it's peeled this is the whole ginger before that i'm gonna do some onions i'm going to have some onions shallots green onions or spring onions green bell pepper leek chinese celery cilantro thyme and rosemary and down here i have some garlic and guys all this you can make the green seasoning however you want it this is just some stuff that i pick out that i'm going to have that i'm going to use i'm gonna have some lemon or lime juice it just i, I just did half and some salt i like some salt and i'm going to do some extra virgin olive oil and that'll be it you blend it like i said you can use it in any um cooking that you want to do i want to chop my ginger um i usually cook ginger in most of my cooking the meat or whatever it has a different flavor to it i love ginger just chop it up and uh just a chunk you can do this to your tasting there's no measurement here to your tasting and after i finish this i can put it in the fridge use it for a couple weeks or you can put it in little containers and put it in a freezer and you can use it to store it for a longer time you can use food processor or a blender i'm just going to use my blender And I usually do the the um, heavier stuff or the ones that I'll take more time to chop up or to cut first so they can have time to cut. Like I say, there's no, this is to your liking. You can put any thing that you want in here according to what you like. You can cut it. Actually, I can't even cut that with my hands. And leek. I love leek. I put leek in like sombe, but leek is too much. So I'm, I have a lot of that. I'm going to use only the green side and put this away. Because uh, um, I have a feeling I'm going to have more. Bell pepper. I'm going to use the green one. You can actually do substitute, like I said. Um, I uh, usually use this mostly on fish, and that's why I'm not using the pepper. Not only I'm not using the pepper, not everybody in my household um, eat pepper. So these just big, big chunks. Take it out. I'm not going to put all these stems. Okay, just. Cut it like that. Garlic. And this, you can put the whole thing, but I not. I'm gonna do that on the rosemary. And time, the same thing. Turn it over and Oh, the smell, the smell is just so wonderful. Okay. And uh, last but not least, it doesn't have to be this order, any kind of order. You're just putting everything in a blender or in, in a food processor. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be any kind of order, like I said. Just put everything together, put in a processor or in a blender. I like sorry some salt 
some lime juice just to preserve it because I usually use actually I'm going to do the whole lime I did half but I realized it's more the lime is really good or lemon if you're gonna do some seafood and all this olive oil uh, but I'll say like half a cup we're doing the blending and uh, let's go and just blend it up and I like to blend it all the way but I still want chunks so when I marinate either my fish or meat I still want to see chunks there we go if you are not done so please go ahead and subscribe and like my video check out my playlist on Congolese food pregnancy updates or cleaning and i will have more videos coming up soon this is what we have i'm going to pour it in here like i said i'm going to store it in the fridge every time i want to make a meal um i just get a scoop a tablespoon or two or if I want to marinate so I'll leave it in the fridge for like two to three weeks up to four weeks when it starts changing colors then you know that's getting bad I'm using ice trays to put it in a freezer and then I'll put it in Ziploc bag this is the green seasoning that I blended and I'm going to put in this container and I'll put it in a freezer just for longer lasting and they just pop it in the freezer and when it's all frozen take it out and put it in a plastic bag or you can just leave it there and it's all fine and use it whenever you want and you have it at hand um the ingredient you can actually get the green seasoning ingredient you can put whatever you want to put it depends on you and your taste just to preserve the flavor and the smell Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for my house. And there you go. Please don't forget to watch my other video on Congolese food. All this green seasoning is inspired by Congolese meals that I make. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.